Hello and welcome to some more Sega GT Online. This is part six, and now we are going to be getting into the good part of the game, the main part, the main meat of the game, Sega GT 2002 mode. Now, first, we need a car. Now, as I showed in part one, you usually start with 13,000, but I did the perk because I had to save from the regular Sega GT 2002 to get an extra 100,000, and then we also did the gathering mode to get some extra money, so we actually get to start with $154,400. And there's quite a Money. few cars. There is quite a few cars here, but I will go through them to give you an idea of what's available for or what's available. Now, this is a custom XBE. Uh, just to warn you, uh, it's not entirely finished yet. It's a work in progress thing. But I would like to uh, just before I go further into this, into this massive shout outs to GTP XENN Xen for the work done to this because this is. He has made this possible for me to show you all this extra stuff as we will be playing through. So, going through the through going through the cars here, we have a Ford Mustang GT. It's based off the the special Bullet variant. In fact, in 2002, it only came in green, but in online, they added a whole bunch of extra colors for it. So that's not always nice. We got the Ford Mustang GT 390, a classic, pretty much also uh, the original Bullet vehicle. We have the Ford GT Concept. We have the OG Ford GT. Well, I say OG. It's the Mark. It's based off the Mark II GT40. We have the amazingly cool, still to me, Ford GT90. Mm, yes. We have the Mustang GT Concept, and yes, the price you're seeing here is uh, <laughs> there's a reason for that. I will explain that in a moment. And we also have the Mustang Mach 1 that we unlocked earlier from the gathering mode. Now, why is this $10,000? Because you were never originally supposed to be able to buy this car. Reason being, there was a select group of cars in the game that no, not even if you finished everything in the game, they would not unlock. And the reason they did not unlock is because they were meant to be given away as prize cars for winning races on Xbox Live in the game's actual online mode. Only problem is, Xbox Live's been gone for 10 years, for 11 years now. We'll have to wait and see oh, if Insignia... We'll have to wait and see if the Insignia project helps to get this game back online. But to put it into perspective, uh, yeah, this game hasn't been online since, so there's been no way to obtain these cards in any other way. It also probably didn't... It also probably didn't help the fact that people figured out through act how to, uh... People figured out how exactly to uh, duplicate cars because that was a that was a method that people found out how to do during this game's heyday. So whoops. Oh, uh, by the way, you may be able to notice uh, the GT390 Mustang, the Ford GT Concept, the Ford GT, and the GT90. Those were purchasable. Normally, yeah. they're not. You're supposed to unlock them. We will actually. But... Even with the uh, yeah, Xen removed the, removed that because we this is a modified version of the XBE, a modified version on top of a modified version that he purposely <laughs> did so that um, it still has all the extra stuff. But I start with the default amount of cash because he uh, he made a modified version where you started off with the the physical maximum the game would let would let you have, which is twenty three million, and even then you're only oh. supposed to be able to get ten million. Hmm. But uh, yeah, so that's this. It's it's basically that, but he changed it so I start with the default amount because I asked him to do that. Anyways, getting back on track for Chev for Chevrolet, we have the Corvette Z06 that we saw earlier, the C3 Corvette Stingray, the Catfish Camaro, the second gen Camaro Z28, the Chevelle. The SS Chevelle from 1970, the C1 Corvette, the C2 Corvette Stingray that we unlocked earlier, and the Camaro Z28, the first generation, which we also unlocked, I believe. Now, are we going to dodge? Yeah, this this is going to take a while. I apologize, but I really just want to show this off for everyone on YouTube's sake. Yeah. So we have the Viper GTSR Concept. The Dodge Charger, this is the 68, not the 69, which is the 69 being the more popular Charger in most games. This is the 68 Charger. And the, way, the easiest cool. way you can tell that is the grill and, as more notably, the rear lights. The, those uh, rounded lights are only on the 68 model. And then finally we have, uh, which was new to online, the Viper SRT10 Roadster. 
which would have been a new Viper at the time of this game's release. Well, Anyways, are unlocked, Nissan, we have the Skyline R34, R33, R32, R31, or R30, excuse me, not R31, uh, the Ken Mary, the Hakosuka, we have the 350Z, the Z32, the 300ZX, the S30, the 240Z, <laughs> big PP, the 240ZG, <laughs> big PP, the Mid 4, <laughs> the original Mid 4, there was two Mid 4s, this is the original Good one. Lord. Uh, the Z four three two R, the Z Racing Edition, uh, the Hakusuka Racing Edition, <laughs> and then extra cars added in online for this and the one eighty SX, the Bluebird, the Sylvia Case S thirteen, the Sylvia Spec R S fifteen. This was another car you were supposed to win in the online mode, but has been made purchasable here for twenty six thousand. And by the way, these. The prices for these cars are not prices at Zen set. These were the prices the cars had originally programmed. Hence why the Mustang GT concept was only 10000 You're making my wife jealous. Do you have a wife? <laughs> Damn it, Emil. And finally, the Z31 for Lady Z. Oh, nice. Toyota, we have the Supra, the, the, the Mark V. Or Mark IV, excuse me. Mark IV. We, the Mark V wasn't until like 2020. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, my brain. Uh, Mark III. Mark II. Uh, Mark, actually, no, I think this is the original one, is it? I don't even remember. Probably Mark II. Uh, Celica XX2000 GT. The, uh, the last Celica, the SS2. The Celica GT4. The Cheater one. The 1600 GT. The OG Celica. The Trune, Sprinter Truno GT Apex. The TE2711, the Sports 800, the MR2 Group S, otherwise known as the 222D, Ooh. the MR2 SW20, the AW11, the 2000 GT, the Racing Edition Celica, the GT4 RC ST185. We get it. You know your cars. Well, sh I'm a nerd. And then there's this one. You might ask, why is a 180SX here? This is a unfinished vehicle. These, there was supposed. If you look at the top right, you will notice it says Toy Celica LB. It was supposed to be another Toy to Celica in game, but it never got finished. And the leftover assets contain an icon for what appears to be an RX-7 with the body of a 180SX. Interesting. Yeah. And it's not the last time we're going to see that, by the way. Honda NSX Type R in 2002, Type S, Type S0, and A1. The original NSX Type R, hence where that miss it wrong icon. See, the correct icon's actually there. They just weren't using it for some reason. Uh, the God damn it, game. The Integra Type R, the other Integra Type R, aka my favorite one. The Civic Type R, the other Civic Type R, also aka my favorite one. Well, facelifted one over this one in particular, but it's close enough. The S2000, the S600, zero intensifies. The, the Beat, which we unlocked earlier. This is the online portion after the S600, by the way. Beat, City Turbo 2, Bulldog, Balad Sports, CRX. Mitsubishi, we have the Evo 7. The Evo 6 Tommy Mackinac Edition, the Evo 6, yes. the Evo 5, the Evo 4, the Evo 3, the Evo 2, the Evo 1, the Box, i.k.a. the GSR IZ Turbo, the Starion 4-Wheel Drive Rally, the Starion GSR VR, the Eclipse GTS, the 97 Eclipse, the and finally the Evo 8, which would have been new at this point. Ooh. Fun fact about the pricing for like the Evo uh, 7, the 6, TME, and the 6 regular, those are the exact same prices as they, as they are in Gran Turismo 3. Huh. Also, can I just say, can I just chime in real quickly? Personal kinda, anecdote. Yeah, I, you have to make it yeah, quick because I really want to get through yeah, these. Yeah, the Evo 6 TME was like one of the, the one car that I really wanted back when I played this game. Anyway, moving on. So Mazda. Bunch of different RX-7s. Type RS, Type RZ, Type RS Older, Type RZ Older, Type R, FC, Savannah, Savannah the original Savannah RX-7 GT Turbo, RX-3, Cosmo Sport, NB Miata, NA Miata. 
Racing Edition RX-3, Autozam AZ-1, and RX-8. Casey intensifies. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, honestly, Emil, I might make this part 5.5 because of how long this is going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Part 5 interlude or something. Part 5, in part 6 interlude. Or, or part, part 6, six prelude. prologue. Part 6 prologue, that's it. Alright, uh... Da, 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 da. Subaru. So, Impressa WRX STI Bug Eye, dub version 6, version 5, Type RA, version 4, version 3, version 2, version 1, Alcione SVX, Alcione, 22B, Blob Eye, and then this car, the Impressa WR. This was not... This is a car that's left over in the game's files and was never made accessible. And as you can see, it was never... Uh, it's a bit... It's a bit chonky. It's a bit big. A bit too big, in fact. For this example, the there's one. the regular one. It and there's this like again. It's... The wheels of the car are kind of uh, phasing into the ground a little bit. That's fine. Hmm. <laughs> again, that's another... That, God that, damn it, Emil. That Impreza, again, was also made possible thanks to Zen. All right, old NSX Acura, new Acura NSX-ish. Well, back then at least. RSX, and finally the RSX Type S A spec. Neat. Lexus. We have the SC430 and the IS300, and that's all. Alfa Romeo. That's... We have the 147, the 145, the 156. The 155. Ah, uh, the, the best one. The Tipo 33-2 Stradale. The Gilia Sprint GTA. The GTV. The SZ. The Tipo BP3. The 1N47 GTA. The 156 GTA. And then both of which were on. And then NBA. the left, the remains of what would have been the Brera concept. Alf Brera. Yep, there. The, we were so close to actually having the the concept Brera in this game, so it's a shame that we didn't get it. Plumpy. And it's Audi. So Audi, we just ha we just have three Audis here: the TT Coupe, the S3, and Sport Quattro. Okay, the only interesting Audi in that lot, in my honest <laughs> opinion. Renault. We have the Clio Sport V6. Good. Just leaving this good one. Just leaving this color on screen for a little bit for uh, Zen's purposes. Mm -hmm. Rental Five Turbo and the A110, aka the best rental. Or well, it's technically an Alpine, but yeah. Mercedes Benz CLK430 Coupe E500 190E 300SL SSK. Wait, as says, oh, yeah, the W20, oh and lastly, the W25 Silver Arrow. Peugeot, we have the 406 sedan, the 307, the 206. AKA, most to get the car that most people start with because it's exactly 13,000. And the 205 T16. Fiat. Ooh. We have the Punto HGT Abarth. We have the Barchetta Giovan... G Giovanni Du. The Coupe 20 Valve Turbo. Or Coupe, excuse me. The 1000 TCR Berlina Corsa. The Abarth 131 Rally. And the X19, the 1500. Which is the only new Fiat that was added into online. Jaguar. We have the, e we have the Series 1 E-Type. The Mark II. That was originally all there was, and but online added the D-Type and the XKR. Again, some other cars that we've already looked at were also online exclusive. I'll probably put a list in like the comments, like all the vehicles that were originally like could only be one online. Anyways, Lotus. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I at was least, expecting that joke. At least Type 72. Exige, the original Exige, by the way, uh, Esprit, one. 
the original Esprit, the Series 1 Elan, the Europa Special. Oh, well, that's very All right, good. Ca cater him. The one cater him in game. The Super 7 R 500 R. Still me. The literal one car, which is the zero. Dome zero. Zero appears out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> Giotto with the original Mark One Caspita. And you can, I, and I imagine you can actually paint the rims on it. Nope. You can't. Oh, you cannot paint. It. You can't paint. You can't paint cars in general in this game, which is un unfortunate. I was going. Look, I was making a All punch. Alright, so okay? Auto Union requires a little bit of explanation for this next bit. So we have the Type C Streamliner, which normally would be the only car that would appear in the Auto Union section. But you notice there's some extra vehicles. Now, let me explain. We have the Opal Astra Coupe and the Opal Speedster. Why are these here? Because for whatever reason, I guess the license might have been lost or something. Opal was originally in Sega GT 2002. You could normally actually buy the Astra Coupe and the Speedster. But that disappeared in online for some reason. They could you couldn't buy them anymore. But the but the leftovers of the cars never actually left the game. So you can actually still buy them. They're still here and Zen made it possible to buy them again. Then we get to the next Weird. emission. This one was not even in 2002. This is a manufacturer that was cut altogether, BMW. There are three BMWs, the 2002 Turbo, the E36 M3, and the E46 M3. Ooh. Yep. These are vehicles that we were supposed to get and never did. Thank you again to Zen for making this possible. And as you can see, these cars actually do have... Their stats are not entirely, we're not entirely finished, so they're not entirely correct, but you can actually see the amount of powers they make, so. Now Bugatti, guess this one also will get interesting. Originally, there was only one Bugatti available to players, the Type 59. But, there was a Bugatti that was not finished, and it just so happened, well, <laughs> d that didn't make, the that didn't survive getting actually into the game, and that just so happened to be the Veyron 16-4 concept. From 2002, or as the yeah, or as the as the information reads, BGA Valon. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know either. Bro, Again. the displacement still uses the rotary scheme. Yeah, that never sense. got the displacement was never finished and properly. Tour. Anyways, and De Tomaso next Ooh, with boy. the one car they have, the Pantera GT5, aka the Sex Machine. Very good. I remember you telling me about that Veron experience, and I'm still slightly jealous of you. All right, Plymouth. The one Plymouth in game, the AR Cuda. Where AKA Q one. intensifies. Pontiac. There's two of them. The Firebird Rant Trans Am Ram Air. I believe this was one of the online exclusive vehicles to that they was, had to yes. win. And then the older Firebird Trans Am. Suzuki, the one Suzuki, the cappuccino. And finally, Vimac. Yes. The art where there's one, the RD350. But there would have originally been two, because there would have also been the RD180. That didn't get finished, and here it sits. Now you might think well, that's it. Well, it. It's... You might think that's well, it. it. Hold on. Okay. There's one more. So this car needs a little bit of explanation. Uh-huh. This is a fiction this is a completely fictional vehicle from the Christmas 2002 demo. It was only in that Christmas 2002 de demo because for whatever reason they decided not to make it a actual playable vehicle in Sega GT Online. I don't know what the reasoning behind it but if I were to theorize what might have been the reason for it, I'm going to guess it's because that car was simp simply put, this car would have actually absolutely killed everything because it's so goddamn ridiculously fast, especially when you upgrade it. 
It's not a rocket vehicle. Oh, and this car also has ground effects. Vehicle. This car legitimately has ground effect capabilities. So much so that the car is called, despite it not saying anything here, the car is the car is called the Ground Effect AKIO or Ground Effect Akio. Again, was never meant to be playable, but here it is for a lot so of money. So that car used fan technology. Yep. Chevrolet 2J yeah, intensifies. And yeah, that that is your special your little bonus part to go over the vehicles about uh, to go over all the vehicles in Sega GT Online, including some extra stuff that you don't really get to see anywhere else. You're you're welcome. But uh, yeah, I will be starting off. I am gonna. There is kind of a little uh, kind of a, even though I don't really need to do it this way, I'm gonna do it anyways. I am still gonna buy a 206 because. I'm going to show you the way I used to always play this game when I was younger. The way I always, the, the method I always used to go and do. Do I need to consult the perfect guide? No. <laughs> Good. So, you're going to see how I how I did that in the proper part six. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because it does really help the channel out. And make sure to check out my links down below. You can also check out my Twitch channel if you want to see these live, unedited, and if you want to help get your name at the start of a video, if you want help, if you if you just want your name at the start of the video, you can uh, check the Patreon link, and that's and it's just one dollar or more. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.